Breakfast, to me, is the most important meal of the day. And I know that might not be scientifically accurate, but I'll tell you something. If I don't start my day on a full stomach, I quite literally don't function. Now, I may eat child cereal, because, oh my gosh, it's good. But it's just made me realise that yesterday, when me and my girlfriend went and did a food bank shop for the local charity, we filled up my Land Rover Defender with potato, tomato, soup and all sorts, but... No cereal bars whatsoever. So I think before we go and drop all of this off, we need to take another stop off at the supermarket. So big Tesco. I'm on the way. And by the way, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. Beautiful. I know, my gosh. It's 9am and this place is busy. But I have found the breakfast bars. And just in case it's adults eating these, I'll get some proper ones. Okay, time to self-scan. And that'll do, pig. I've spoke to the local food bank. They are open and ready for delivery. And no way, you're not not gonna believe this. When I pulled into Tesco, I drove past a Krispy Kreme delivery van and I looked at it and I was like, man, that van must smell amazing. Imagine that, a massive like truckload of fresh smelly donuts. And she was just pulled up here to the side. So I went alongside and put down the window and looked at her with all dead seriousness and I went, how good does it smell in that van? And she looked at the van, she looked at me and she went, Amazing. And we both just started after laughing our faces off. And I wish her a Merry Christmas. And I drove off. And I've just got back to the Defender. And look what's on my windscreen! No way! That is so freaking kind of her. She's even wrote Merry Christmas on it. Where's she gone? I think by now she's left because I was in there a while because it was so busy. But that is absolutely amazing of her. Wherever you are, Krispy Kreme lady, I love you. Okay, we've got our supplies. So let's go and stock up the food bank. Dun, 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 dun. And if you ask me, that looks like a low of food and it's being banked so let's back it up here so schools have been sending in loads and this is from a local mcdonald's and yeah we get local companies like uh, smurf it cap mm, really send us loads of stuff. so it's been a good year this year amazing all right well i'm glad i could help moment of truth is anything gonna go flying out no we're all right yes great success i tell you what it looks like it's a lot more there than it was in a trolley flipping heck but when you compare what i've just dropped off to what they've been stocked with look at it oh my gosh apparently they've had an amazing year from nappies to drinks coffee to cordial oh my gosh i honestly can't believe how generous people have been this year even ian the guy who's running the place here just said like they've never seen anything like it of how good it has been this year and how nice is that how nice is that to hear Oh, so I'm glad we've done our thing. We've dropped that off. That's a good way to start a day. And I got some donuts out of it. <laughs> Just what a win. All right, we're now off home because we're expecting Sean, the bald cousin, to be round at my house. What? Hold on a second. There has been no arrival of a bald man because I do not see a van. But whilst I've been out, apparently there's been a delivery. And oh, yes, there has. From Baker Furniture. Okay. Now, if I'm right in saying so, they are the new side tables for in the lounge. You know, because we totally need more stuff to put in here. They're going to need building. And the bald cousin should be here any minute. But before he arrives, I am going to dig into a bit of Rita's rain. Oh my goodness. This will do as a lovely midday snack. And look at that, 11.06. I feel like I've got so much stuff done this morning, which is proof that... I just need to start getting up earlier. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Santa Claus himself, eh? Oh, my, my gate is literally beating your van to death. My bad. Don't sue. And with this beautiful man's arrival, come here. Are you ready for Christmas now? I will be. You will be. When what about the good news? When this curse of a job. <laughs> hey, oh, stop it. Hey, what about the good news? Oh, mate. Andy. Well done. I can't believe it's going to well be a daddy. Done. Brilliant! You're going to have a friend in Canada! And hopefully after today, we're going to have a place to put all your stuff because this is going to end up looking like this! Wow. Wow, would you look at that? We got, we got more shelves up, bro. Dude, I just... Everyone who's come, by the way, and has just seen the skeleton, they've been like, this looks so good. I'm like, it's not, there's nothing there yet, but at the same time, it's like, oh my gosh, it actually does look so good. There's a vision, and I can see it. Visual. Right. Listen, I'm being a useful member to the job. I'm pulling off. Ah! That hurt like crazy. I'm pulling off um, the, the command hooks. So Sean can get in the tops of the units. And I've just decided, you know what? Rather than sitting around waiting for this to get built, I've got things that actually need being built, which I can do in the forums of you. Now, I'm really hoping I'm not about to unbox this and build it. And it's going to end up being the wrong size. Because if it's the wrong size, you and me are going to have problems. Did you measure these? Why? Oh, no. oh my god. Just 
Deep breaths, Tom. Deep breaths. Let's just cut the cellar tape, get inside and see what we're saying. I am so hoping I'm not going to have to repackage these up because, oh my goodness me, trying to ship these back off is a bit nightmare because they are so heavy. Wow. Now, immediately looking at the size of them, I'm thinking they look a little bit small, but we won't find out until I put it in the lounge. Ooh, nice surface. And the survey says, very good, very nice. Probably would look a lot better if like the whole room wasn't cluttered for me to be able to like show it you. But if I put some things on it, look at that. You've got a place to put your drinks now. It's lovely. And if I'm right in saying we've got one there to the right of the sofa and we've got another one going there. So let's plonk this in place. Like a so. And we have, we have side tables. Yay! Now, we've not just got these side tables. We've actually got a full new coffee table coming, which is going to match them, but we're not getting that till... February. So we're gonna have to wait to that, but dun 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 Oh my gosh, it looks That so looks good. good. It, 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 we're still getting there. But oh my gosh, how much does that change the room? So mate, it's ridiculous how much that changes the room. It's gonna look sick, mate, honestly. So You've just got too much stuff, you little bugger. Wow. Yeah, that's epic. That we can actually fit a 40 inch TV in here. Oh my gosh. I'm just sat here watching you guys work this out. And Sean, look at how happy he is, dude. Look at how happy he is looking at you. Oh, it's like Uncle Sean, thank you so much. Thank you. No, I swear we can pay. Don't take it away, please. No, no, put it back, put it back. <laughs> well, I spoke too soon. Sean's actually gone. He's popping out to get supplies to fill in the holes in the walls. Like so. And we've also had a bit of a plot twist and an update with what's going on with everything. So, ta-da! There is indeed a worktop unit in here right now, but this is not what we've gone for. We've actually gone for more of like an oaky wood, like this or this. But the reason that's in rather than something like that is because where Sean stored the worktop surface, um, the guy actually isn't available. He's not picking up his phone. He said he's done for Christmas and he's not letting anyone in the unit to collect the worktop. So annoying, but luckily Sean's put this temporary worktop in for now and then he's going to switch it out as soon as he can. So we're going to leave this situation with Sean because we're actually leaving the house as well. Because it's lunchtime, isn't it? So we've got our festive spirits on and we're heading out the house to meet up with Jenny and Eamon at Limefield for what could possibly be our last dinner together before the baby arrives she's due she's tomorrow. due tomorrow you want to see the size of it you should never say that to a woman ever but you should see the size of her she, she likes she's about she looks incredible but she looks like she's about to burst at the seams so go on let's go and get our last lunch before you meet baby ada yeah and relax me and lydia just said i feel like we feel a bit more ready for christmas now we've done some christmas shopping the house is it's getting organized Oh wait, no, no, no. You've got nothing. I've, I've got nothing. You have. Okay, I got something, but I don't know. I just I feel unorganised when it comes to presents, but I just feel like I, like we're getting on with things a little bit more, ready for Christmas, and I'm happy just to chill out with our boy. I don't feel like we're I'm happy with what we've got. And I love that. And speaking of having everything, hello there, Irish man. Hello. Oh, there she is. <laughs> There's no way you're sitting down and bringing me bad news like this. What wood burning stove should carry pollution warning? I've just paid three and a half bloody grand for one. You're gonna have to rip it up, buddy. Sorry. So what am I gonna have to do? I only get to use it on certain days of the year. Yeah, like days. Oh, fuck off. I was trying to get you for summer, but I don't care because my soup has arrived. And I've gone for chicken <laughs> and vegetable soup. Nice. What did you just say to me? The easy singles. Uh, <laughs> Are you talking about when you've got a crying baby, you throw a piece of cheese on its yeah. face? <laughs> I have tried to pitch, let me try it for a content. Yeah. It's I not happening. It she will not let me don't throw now. cheese at the baby. It. <laughs> this is why you don't bring it. Look, you just do hammered. it. It's completely hammered. <laughs> Damn it. Me and Eamon will both not be able to test whether or not you throw a slice of cheese at your child, they stop crying. That's right. We can! Just don't tell her about it. Um, any particular reason why you're watching people rub chilies on their hair for hair growth, Eamon? No, no, no. <laughs> well, you're a cracking dinner date as always, and I can't wait for the baby to come out tomorrow. Bro, oh my god, they've got it back in stock. Yes! I am taking two of these. This is the best bottle of red wine money can buy. Are you actually getting one? Yeah, cheers. <laughs> We just sold them out, well played. What a day. What a day. What a day. What a day. This one of the last moments, last moments caught on camera of just the five of us. 
Just the five of us. We can make it till she arrives. Just the five of us. Goodbye. Okay, back to the house where we're going to see how Sean is getting along. Oh, the van is at the front of the house. There's work going on, yes. And don't say I don't give you anything. That one's for you. Thanks, Not the milk. <laughs> Ooh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Very nice. Thank Very you. good stuff. Wait, where are you going? You're supposed to drink it now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's it coming together, my sugar, my boy? Ooh. Someone's going to be like, wait, <laughs> there was more up a minute ago. <laughs> he had to take it down. Don't worry, don't worry. He was just making sure it all went in place and where it was going. And now he's putting it together properly. As I'm just doing a rubbish run. Look at this. We've got doors on, Sean. We love you. It's really going to be a Christmas. Because our Christmas present is being able to see our house again. Getting rid of all the stuff, getting it into the cupboards and seeing our floors. Are we doing some tummy time? Are we getting you strong? Are you going to start crawling soon? Are you going to start crawling? <laughs> How excited are you for your new cupboards? How excited are you for your new cupboards? Are you happy? <laughs> They're coming together, mate. They're coming together. And wow, does this room look way different with this unit in. Look at it. it. It's mad. Like, I never thought when I actually built this house in the space of it, because this was supposed to be a dining room, we'd have something like this in it. But this feature wall, mate... Chef's goddamn kiss. Well played. High five, my friend. We wrap it for today because it's getting towards half past five and Sean's got to get off. I've got to get down to the pub, but we're even more closer to a complete thing. However, the, the bottom units are shelved up and cupboard doored on so we can start to store things away. And then when Sean's got the chance to come back and finish the full job. So I've got great success. Time for a pint with me pals. Cheers, boys. Merry, Merry, no! <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> oh, my little dude, it's Christmas! Yay! It's your first ever Christmas! <gasps> We're gonna have to go to bed. We're gonna have to go to bed soon, because look! We've left out some cookies, some milk, and honestly, <laughs> the world's biggest carrot. <laughs> first Christmas present, because Alfie's embarrassed of his dad. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's loud. Oh, it's loud. Oh. Did you buy me <laughs> a very convenient present because I need them for tomorrow? Oh, that's why I wanted to have it now. Did you buy me socks? <laughs> Do you know what? You know, like in the movies where someone goes, oh, they got socks. I'm like, haha, socks. I was like, shit, I need socks. <laughs> hey, look, did you put one on you? Look. It's a big sock. Do you like it? What do you think? So this is not off you, I don't say thank you to you. Thank you, buddy. Welcome. I appreciate that. Merry Christmas! Yay! Merry Yay! Christmas! Oh, bombastic side-eye. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. And not just any day, Christmas Day with me and my little boy, Alfie. Where it looks like Christmas has indeed arrived. Santa Claus has been, because look. Oh. <gasps> The carrot we put out for the reindeers has been eaten. The glass of milk and cookies has gone. And there's footsteps in the snow. Oh, oh. And look at this. There's a present for you to get changed into. Oh, look at you. <laughs> My first Christmas with a baby. And I'm loving it. Can you believe how many things Father Christmas has sent for you? Ooh. Look at that. The biggest box has got your name on it. But it's going to have to wait because first thing this morning, we're heading out the house and we're going off to Lydia's family church. Where we're collecting the entire family. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I know it's time to enjoy a lovely Christmas service. Where I'm guessing we're running a little bit late. Oh, weak now, are you? You slept through the entire Christmas service, lad. Of which we've now already teleported home. And it's time to open some presents, isn't it? Oh my gosh, just look at him. This is like the somewhat calm <laughs> before the storm of the day. I can't tell whether he's smiling or about to poop. Probably both, but he's also chewing the present that he's got for mum. So I'm going to give you this back because you need to give her a present, but stop eating it, okay? I know we're supposed to let children go first when they're unboxing things, but mummy's bought me a bottle of wine. And as you know, when I pick my wines, I go off the label of the picture. I'm so sorry. 
and I just thought, that is so tough. That could be the best bottle of wine I have ever been bought. No. Mummy knows dad very well, doesn't she? Because they are stunning. I, I hereby solemnly swear to not get these ones covered in mud. Really? I know, really but... <sighs> Lydia always buys me lovely trainers and I just ruined them. That's so sick. You've not. Before you even said you wanted them. <laughs> You've not. Yeah. I've been waiting for him to come for ages because your prescription is a Lydia, you're ridiculous. <laughs> no freaking way. I know when we saw him at the traffic centre, I was like, no, no, no. But since then, I've been like, I still want them. Because you're blind. <laughs> these things need to be done in advance. You can't just go and pick them up off the so shelf. So these aren't just the one, like, ones off the shelf. These have got my prescription lenses in. Oh my God, get them on. I can't believe this. Wait, how long in advance did you have to order for the prescription then? You've got two weeks, just the prescription. Oh. I thought that's not at the Christmas time, so oh. that's why I don't think they're going to come at time, in time. If you guys don't that's know... That's very in advance. Oh! Course, by the way. Does the case charge it or something? It's got a light on it. Oh. Baby, I can... When you were trying them all on, you were like, I don't like those ones, I like those ones. I was like, thank goodness he said These, that, because yeah, the, they're you... the ones... How do I get it out? And I'd already bought them. Oh, yeah, the case does charge them. These are the ones. Are you actually serious? Oh my gosh, I can say they look quite big, <laughs> but oh my gosh, you don't understand how much this is going to change my life whilst I'm driving and stuff like that. Or uh, even when I'm holding Alfie, I just want to record. They could even just be like car ones, couldn't they? Oh my gosh, if you don't know, there is cameras in the lenses. Oh baby, you're ridiculous, you're absolutely ridiculous. I love you. Oh. You kept walking around the shopping centre, I really want those glasses, I was like... Uh, Please do not just buy it because he would just buy himself a pair then and there. And I was like, don't. It's talking I'm... to me. It's saying battery percent five. Per... Did you hear that? Yeah. Battery Did percentage you see five me just percent. Did walk away from you when you were looking at him? Yeah, yeah, like, you showed no interest. talking about them. Oh my gosh. I know it, it's a thick lens, but just think when I'm driving, rather than like getting out a GoPro and you setting it all up or anything like that, I can just you. throw these on whilst I'm driving, click record, and I'm good to go. Oh. <sighs> So good. Little dude, thank you very much for the present. Look at this little note. To Daddy, I love you so much. I can't wait to play, build, and grow with you. I promise to always be a du duo. Love you millions. Alfie, thank you. Your handwriting, my friend, is gorgeous. And look what he's bought me. Little jelly man. Come here. Yes. Yes. My little guy, you will always be my best friend and my duo. Thank you very much. Mwah. Alfie's got a present, and I know what that is. I know from years of experience what that is. I'm not supposed to know what it is. Are you I know what that is. I'm saving it for you. I hope you had it. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, your life's about to change for the better. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this. Don't we have to thank. Is it Becky and Wes? Wes yeah. Thank you, Be Auntie Becky and Uncle Wes for... <gasps> His passport! <laughs> Wait, does this mean the picture got approved? I'm going to put the picture on screen. Now, this is his passport picture because obviously we're not going to show you that. But my little guy, we can finally go to Japan and see B and we can go to Singapore and see Harry. Yeah. Ah! I obviously can't show you any of these details, but it's the cutest thing. Alfred Weishang Cassell. <laughs> Love you so much. I can't believe we've got a baby still. It's amazing. Hey, let's celebrate. By heading out the house and to Lydia's mum's for Christmas dinner. And I'm not sure how with all the shaking going on, he is fast asleep. But I expect that to be me after my Christmas dinner. Everything's coming together. We're getting the table sorted. The food is getting cooked. Oh my gosh, look at those pigs in blankets. Oh. <laughs> This is about to be the best Christmas dinner you've ever seen. But I'm of no use to anyone because nobody needs too many cooks in the kitchen. I'm sitting down in my throne with my beer and I'm waiting for my glasses to charge. Belting Christmas. Yeah. Cheers. And look who it is. Merry Christmas. Come in, come in. Still no baby. Oh, you're wearing the jumpers. Yes. Oh, Merry Christmas. Mate. What did you say about my new glasses? It's a thick rim. Thick rim. Yeah. Do you know they're not just glasses? These cameras oh, built into that's them. That's a present to earn. I know. I feel like if I wore these for a while, people would get used to me wearing them. But it, there's a big difference between these and these. Yeah. Like these, like you almost don't see them on your face. But 
for how good the cameras are in this. Yeah, Buddy Holly vibes going on. Yeah, wait, what? What's Buddy, what's that? This is Buddy Holly. No, what? Am I getting roasted? No. This image on screen is who Eamon says I look like. Yeah, the thing is, you're not wrong. Oh my goodness me. You've made a very good decision in coming here. Oh, look at the pigs in blankets. Oh, I'm a happy Tom. I'm still in the process of trying to set my glasses up, so I'm waiting for an update right now. But whilst we're waiting, look at all the sides we've got. In my entire life, I thought turkey was supposed to be dry on a Christmas dinner plate, but look at the moisture. Vicky, phenomenal. Oh, is this gonna be my first clip on my glasses? This might be my first clip on the glasses. Don't know if it's working. Hi, Jen. If it works, I'll be so impressed. I managed to get it working, but I need to try and work out if I can film it, you know, in this aspect ratio. If it doesn't, I'll be absolutely gutted because I, did, I didn't read into any of the tech specs. I just said, I love them and I love the idea of it. So I'm going to try and look through it, but I've also got my dinner to eat. So I'll be back with more glasses content later. Oh my gosh. That's a good looking Christmas plate, my friend. Look at, have, have you had a bit of the pig in blanket yet? Yeah. How, how good? Mm. We've got a bit of turkey, we've got some parsnips, oh my gosh, we're going for the green beans and bacon. Look at that, oh my god, oh my god. I'm going to go for the, the caroots, the mashed caroots, oh. Avoiding them, taking one of these, and I'm taking, oh, lots and lots and lots of these. Mmm. Can't forget that the good, good. What? Hot. Yeah, I know. Like molten lava. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, gonna have for two. Uh, Eamon, I'll probably have six <laughs> pigs in blankets, mate. Honestly, I, I eat more of these than I actually do the, the main turkey. She makes them so good. Mm. Oh, so yeah. Look at that stuff in. More Thank sausage. You very Thank, much. You. So Thank, good. You. Thank you, Vicky. Yeah, Thank you, guys. Fine. Thanks, family. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a first not, year. Not, it's not another. Uh... Oh. I'm hungry. <laughs> mm. You won't eat half of that. I'll come back to it. <laughs> I'll give myself hour stints. <laughs> Are you full? Yes. Why have you put so much in it? It's such a waste. I'm going to eat. I, I will eat all of it. Ugh. What did you do to my child? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? Oh, is that better? Oh, there we go. Look at them angry eyebrows. Are you yawning or in disgust? <laughs> I am defeated. 100% defeated. We're doing present time now at Lydia's mum's house. And look at this. Lydia's mum's bought him his first Christmas cutlery set. Or cutlery. Plate set. Adorable. Adorable. And I got the best gift ever, which honestly, basically was crying. It's inside that box. And I'm gonna have to show you when we get home because it's lovely. And this is this is the plate built together. It makes the snowman. <laughs> well played, Vic. Well played. That's really cute. So how did you enjoy the uh, Hewitt Lee Christmas? That was wild. Let's go so far. It was wild. The presents were mental. The dinner was mental. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. And then look at this little guy. Hi. Are you enjoying Christmas? Are you enjoying your first Christmas? He is, because he's just absolutely thrown up all over me. Oh, oh, oh. Bombastic side eye. Now, it's never properly a Tom Christmas unless you're bouncing around all over the place going saying hello to the rest of the family. So we're hopping in the whippage. And we're going to my dad's house. Ta-da! Merry Christmas! Really? The one time we're all wearing the Christmas jumper and you've not got it on? Oh, my goodness. I love how I'm. Hi, girl, you okay? Hi, Dad. Do you love how I've got my hands completely busy so I get to actually use the glasses? <laughs> Are you me? Merry Christmas. Merry. Calm down, you. Before you go crazy, calm down. This is why these glasses are so good. Oh, no, it's okay. We're all nice and calm here, aren't we? Yeah. Is it on now? Yeah. Does it look a bit weird? Because I don't know what it looks like. It's one on one side. Yeah, so it's, an, it's, a, it's to let you know. You okay? It's to let you know if it's like recording. So right then I was trying to take my shoes off, but I had no ha fr ha hands free. So it's perfect just to like capture a moment like that. So how much does it record? It does like a minute. It does like a minute and then you redo it again. But yeah, it's got like 32 so gigs stored in it. So it saves the minute and the minute. Yeah, yeah. So it, uh, uh, 
I, I don't, yeah, no, I think it's just, yeah, like a mini, mini SD card built into it, so you transfer it to your phone. Right. So I've not played around with it fully, I'm still getting used to it. But they're actually prescription lenses, so I can see. Oh, wow. Yeah, how good's that? Oh, there you go, and it'll stop now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so I heard that Santa Claus was trying to deliver me these glasses from you. Oh, it said to yeah, Alice, but then you. it was like, no, to, 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 from, from Lydia, from Alice, from Lydia. No, definitely from Lydia. I really appreciate it. It's good ideas all round. What's going on here? Is it a Moose. giraffe? Oh, I thought it was a giraffe. I thought it was a giraffe! I thought it was a giraffe! It is a giraffe! Isn't it a giraffe? It's got a bit. Clem Morangi. Yeah! Oh, thank you, Dad. I'm going to need some ice cubes in that. Crikey. Merry Christmas, mate. Hey, are you and your Uncle Carl? Can I be a wimp and have a piece of ice in that? Scottish whiskey, mate. It could be a moose. After 30 years of age, I still can't drink whiskey straight. Thank you. I'll see you. Um, no, you can't. <laughs> Look at him! How proud are you? How proud? Oh! <laughs> what epileptic fit going on? How you doing, Dad? I'm fine, mate. You're going. Oh, go on then. Top, top us up. After we, we'll have a wee dram. We've a, had wee, a, wee, a wee dram. We've had a wee dram. Now we'll have one from from Malaga. Did we, oh. see, did we see it from Malaga? Something like that. No, don't waste it. Spanish port. It, not port actually. Spice rum. Madeira. Madeira. Madeira it's from me. Madeira and rum. Merry Christmas. Oh yeah. It's a good health. It's a happiness. Yeah. Um, hey, and to grandkids. Family. Family. Family mate. Cheers. Mmm. Delicious. Can you believe when we one of the last times we were in here all together, we were telling you the news? Oh yeah. Yeah. And now it's here. And now he's here! Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> You're the best little baby in the world, my friend! Yes, he is. And now I'm going to quickly do a pickup of presents because we got to pop around to my mum's house and see my mum, Nino, Alice and Carl. So go, 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 go! Presents have been acquired. We very much have a crying baby in the back, but we're on the way to Elisimo's. Oh, we have arrived. Hello! Look, Hello! Hello. Merry Christmas! <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas! I've just completely forgot. Merry Christmas. Oh wait, I saw you at Dad's. Go away. Well done, see you later. Have you been visited by Santa Claus? Has Father Christmas been today? Has Father Christmas been? I've got your toys. Is that yours? Have you got a fire truck? Whoa. And have you got an oven set? Whoa. I don't know what you call it. A kitchen. A kitchen. Oh, for gosh sake. Come on. And um, I don't know whether your mum and dad are trying to train you, but... Um... You've got an actual... An actual Dyson Hoover. And look at this. We're doing baby training today. I've got you. And Carl's got Arlo. By the way, he's, he's, he's cuddling on me like a monkey. Guess what else I've got you? Well, if it's not a monster... What's that? Me and what? my money. Can you believe what I've got you in your sack? Are you ready? Oh. Listen, you didn't have to panic. I bought all the monster trucks. We went into Selfridges. They've got a whole new range of monster trucks. So I bought them all. I couldn't help myself. I literally couldn't resist. So look, look, look. This one's a dinosaur. Oh. I'm so sorry about that. I know oh, it's a parent no, right now, you guys are like, I'm them. so about this more monster trucks. He loves them. But we've still got you more presents. you still got you more. I think this is the best present. Okay, bye. The bye. Oh, it's flexible. It's just going. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, do you like that gift? How good is that? The ultimate kids, like, what do you call it? Busy a busy board. I know that because I bought that. With Lydia, <laughs> but unfortunately, I, didn't... <laughs> I just couldn't quite remember the name. <laughs> he opened a present before, and I went, "What? Who's that?" Oh, and he was always I was like, "Oh, right." Karen, will you open your present, lass? As I open a present from Alice and Carl for our little man. Oh, what? <gasps> I know what this is, and I've wanted to buy it so many times. Alice, Carl. That is adorable. So is it a dressing gown? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> That's so cute. Is he going to bed? No. Before you go to bed, take a monster truck with you. That's not a bedtime. Oh, no, yeah, why not? Monster trucks, monster trucks. Come here. Hey, I love you. Mwah. 
I love you. Come on, Godfather. Nah, just a, just a bunch of Godfathers. It's just so light. You open one thing. Oh, oh, can you believe two years ago at Christmas you and you and now announced oh, nice. you revealed your evidence? Yeah. And now look at it. Why did you make those? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna leave this mess like this. Nino, pleasure. Mum, as always. Alice. Till next time. <laughs> Till next Christmas, guys. See you later, Godfather. Hey. <laughs> All right. There you go. The running around doesn't stop yet. We're now going back to Lydia's house. I know, mate. I know. This is just the way. Oh, bloody! Our lights have gone out. This is just the way we do things. We've got loads of friends. We've got loads of family, and we need to see them all. <laughs> Please take him in, take him in, take him in And get me a beer And before we do that, Alfie, have you got a little present for her? Yeah Oh my gosh, what is it? <laughs> oh. It says, will you be the godmother? <laughs> Ta -da! <laughs> this is going to seem so random since I'm filming you wearing the glasses, but you suit those glasses. Like, I know you've had laser eye surgery, but they really suit you. They, they, you look great. Nice jumper, by the way. <laughs> Gotta get the promo. Whoa, what the heck? Well, I can't believe it. Our Christmas guests are leaving. So that, the next time I might see you, you might have a baby. Yeah, hopefully. What the heck? You'll know. Goodbye, you three. Ah, <laughs> see what I did there? Yeah, it's very good. All right, it's cold out there. It's blowing a hooli. It's blowing a gale. A hooli. Like a, a hooli gale. <laughs> a hooligan. A hooligan? Gale, she's cracked. Oh, come on. She's back. Gale's causing trouble again. For fuck's sake, Gale. <laughs> Goodbye, godparents. Oh, godparent number one, amen. Whoop, whoop. Godparent number two. Whoop, whoop. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Love you guys, see you later. Oh, Nearly 11 o'clock at night. Everyone's chilling, just enjoying each other's company and relaxing. And I am laying down on that sofa. All right, lifted myself off the sofa to say farewell, goodbye, and thanks for having us. But it's time to go, it's time to go. It's time to go, come on now. Vicky, thanks for having us. I can't believe we're rolling in home. Well done, baby. What a day. I am exhausted. Tired Tom is tired. Well done though. I love you. You smashed it. And me and man back there. I'm proud it's of you as so well. Good. I love you. Come on, let's go to bed. Successful day was successful. And I know I rarely say this because I love having like friends and family up at the house, but wow, it's nice to have Christmas elsewhere and then come back to your house and it not be a mess. Before everyone goes like, Tom, your house is a mess. Shush, all right? It's tidier than it usually is, so I'll take it. And I will take how good that looks. Sean smashed it. Right, let's actually go to bed. Oh, the next day, Boxing Day in a certain, someone's woken up sad that it's not Christmas anymore. But it's okay, my friend, because you've got lots of annoying toys. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly half past 12 the next day. Oh, we're just getting out of bed because we are shattered, but oh, did it feel good to lie in relaxed and recharged with a brew boom and now we're heading out the house again it's uh, the christmas period in my life is just non-stop go 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 because a certain someone's got so many people he needs to see so it's time to go and say merry christmas you filthy animals to the scouse so keep her going keep her going keep her going uber for tom thank you <laughs> So it was a very peaceful journey with this passenger. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Uber driver, because everything now is A-OK. -okay. Is there scouts in this building? Yeah, all right. <laughs> How are you doing? I bring a child. We, we specifically put him in this outfit just to see you. Oh, you Daddy and Jackie, come in, let's go and say hello, everyone. Are you family? Oh, hello. Pet reindeer, anyone? Good decisions have been made, not just cocktail sausages. Pigs and blanket sausages. I'm just getting too Amazing. And is that parma ham with cheese? Or is it just oh it's parma ham with cheese? Best buffet so far. Just saying. Oh. <laughs> so cute. Look at that. Arlo's gone now. Arlo's gone. Alfie's stealing the show. Oh. Top dog.
<laughs> no, I know we already said this, but a buffet is not a bad way to start a day. Uh, I'm now uh, magically home. Uh, Lydian's L Lydian, Lydian, <laughs> she's a species. Lydia has abandoned me because she's gone down back to her mum's house because her dad from Wales is up to visit uh, and to see Alfie. But I have my dad coming here to collect his present. Because you may notice in what once was a tidy living room, now messy again, shock, there is a certain thing sticking out behind the sofa. It's fairly obvious, but I was hoping by putting it there, it would be out of the way and still like, oh, look, it's clearly a gift um, and, and somewhat kind of hide what it is. But I don't think it takes a genius to figure out what could possibly be in a box that big. And to even more back that fact up, my dad came round and when he was sat here on Christmas Eve, we were just sat talking, 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 looking at each other here and the present was there. And my dad just went, that's a television that. So spoiler alert, he was right and he's here to come and collect his gift. Cause there is no way on earth that was fitting in my Defender. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Hello. This is where you need to be, be shocked. Oh my gosh, dad, what is it? Oh wow, it's not like you didn't guess. Ah, oh, brilliant! <laughs> but Dad, Dad, Dad and Gail got me a Christmas present as well. But we didn't open them because I wanted to wait until they were there. So I'm gonna give you that. You, what guesses? Come on. Well, you said uh, a truck, and I said, well, no. but I thought a truck could carry something. I thought you might. Have... So the clue was it could carry something. Is it a piece of furniture? Uh, semi. Me and Lydia, me and Lydia both use it. Yeah, and it's semi furniture. Something to do with the fire? No. What do you mean no? You can't say no to that. Right. Right. You can't say no. Right. It is something for the fire. Nice. That is amazing! And I'm not even kidding because I've got context as to why. It's in us. Suits. It's in us log basket. Suits you, sir. <laughs> oh. that, that, that is actually perfect. It's in us log basket. Have you seen what I've seen it there. Wood, but bags of wood. No. <laughs> this is what I've been using. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone would be like, why have you been using a one pound bucket? And I'm like, because I don't have a wood basket. You do now. That I didn't, is brilliant. We, we... Thank you. Thanks, Gab. Aww. I appreciate that. Because he can see if you look. That's so lovely. Should I put some in it now? Yeah, now, minus the plastic bags, of course. That'll look well good. And if I just run off to my garage and stock it up with a load of logs. Oh, job is a good un. <laughs> Is it <laughs> yeah, she's gonna love it. Well, I obviously love it because I'm the fireman, but that's so good. I will take this all out of the bags, but that's so in keeping as well. Move trees, get out of here. I'm gonna burn you. Oh, thanks, guys. <sighs> See, that's why you need the man with a van. <laughs> and girls, are you enjoying your drink? <laughs> and just like that, they are out of here. And my house definitely looks like Santa Claus has ransacked the gaff. But at least he could get in it easily this year. See this though, I've got a chimney. No more squeezing through keyholes. The Tom's transition of closing doors and heading out the house continues because Lydia's father has traveled over from Wales to say hello and happy Christmas. Let's go and see how they're doing. But first I'm in Tesco for some milk. And then I'm booting in doors. Oh my gosh, I thought, <laughs> yeah, hello. <sighs> There you go, Grandad. Got your card. Oh, what, what are you again? Gun gun. You look the size of a house on that bath. Whoa. Why, why would you go at a man like that? Hey, listen, I'm not going to say if he does or he doesn't. All right, leave him alone. Are you doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Merry Christmas. Look at this. Just two Chinamen. Chilling. <laughs> Do you ever get the feeling you're just not part of the cool crew? <laughs> Just sat over here all by myself whilst five people sit on one sofa. Thanks, gang. Oh, Look the heck. <laughs> I couldn't be any more further away if I tried. Merry Christmas. Look at you. You look like you've been abandoned on a doorstep. I'll see you at home. Come on then, you're going with mummy. Cause dad drove in his car. Safe to say, that's not uh, child friendly. What are the chances of seeing you here, mother? <laughs> Just in time for Have you thrown up? <laughs> Have you been drinking? Cause you kinda look like you've been drinking. In this episode of what the heck is going on, we're going into my garage, which is really tiny, don't talk about it. And we're grabbing ourselves a drill. <laughs> And there's a reason why I'm grabbing a drill, and it's to do with my sister's Christmas present. Like, every year I usually buy my sister an item that I can give her on Christmas Day, because that's what you usually do with gifts. However, the gift that I want to get my sister, I can't exactly give it to her, because she needs to get it measured, get it quoted, and all this sort of stuff. So, when you see what I'm needing the drill for, you'll understand what a present is. Because I'd rather have a physical gift than me just handle like a, an IOU. So I'm gonna need my coat, my keys, and we're heading to the one and only house next door. Because for Christmas, um, you know when people say like, oh, 
I'd love a teapot or, 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 or a top or something like that. Well, I always try to go above and beyond for my sister, but crikey, what was, what was that? Is there a fucking pterodactyl in my bushes? But anyway, as I was saying, I always try and go above and beyond for my sister for Christmas because she just smashes everything in life and she smashes everything in Syndicate Original. So for Christmas, I, I like I, I want to go big or go home. And this year, my sister decided that she wanted something for her home. And when someone says this request, it's a bit difficult to actually follow through with it, but I'm going to try my very best. And it is the fact that my sister said she wants a new front door. Now, no, I'm not taking this front door from here and giving it to Alice. But what I'm actually going to do is organise buying her a new one, but I don't know the size, the dimension, the cost, or anything of it. But rather than handing her nothing, I'm going to hand her a door. A little bit stupid because she's not actually going to use it, but because this house is in absolute disarray, one of these spare doors will do as a gift, as a symbol as to what I'm going to give her. Ah! I've already got my first headache because I was going to try and drill this off the wall with this drill bit, but I've obviously brought the wrong one. However, upon further inspection of the rest of the doors, this one is perfect. So with a bit of here and a there, I just lost my drill bit. <laughs> uh, swiftly ignoring that fail, the door is off, which is perfecto mundo. It's a lot... It's a lot heavier than I was expecting. To the point where I'm like, I don't know if this is the door I want to take round to Alice's because it's supposed to be a bit of a joke like, haha, here's a door, I bought you a door. Because just like these internal ones are just so flimsy and lightweight, but again, I haven't got the right screw head for that. I'm a bloody genius. I found another lightweight one that was actually screwed in with these ones. So look at this. Job, bam, 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 done. Uh, oh wait, oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> Kind of forgot to take one out. Oh, okay, job done, way! Alice's new door! You know what, I'm even gonna let it come with a handle, I think. Yeah, because then that way it looks more like a door. Yeah, it's obviously a door, isn't it? All right, that's job one of two done. Now I need to, um, this, I'm gonna do this one hand vlog. This is where my new glasses would have come in handy, but I don't think they, they, they've got a torch on it. Um, this is part one of two. I've got the door. Now I need to wrap the door. I have got to be the world's most annoying brother. Am I annoying? Yes. Do you think this will annoy her? Yes. Yeah, I'm a good brother then. And how do you think I'm going to annoy her even more? <laughs> yep. 100 meters of tinfoil. So let's do this. I interrupt that time lapse, which was all of one millisecond because the camera didn't see this. <laughs> yeah. As Vic's walking away, putting a piece of ice on my foot. I'm going to show you my foot in a minute. I dropped the entire roll of 100 meters worth of tinfoil on to my foot and oh my gosh did it hurt wow let me show you the impact mark oh my gosh if you don't like feet run off oh ow 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 that hurt so bad if i haven't broke something in there i will be very very surprised look at the dent it made oh my gosh that hurt anyway where were we I thought I did that in time lapse, so it would go like zoom, and I did it in normal video. So that that's a long clip. Thanks, Ryan, for editing explosion. Okay, now if that wasn't annoying enough, we now need duct tape. Thanks, Harry. <laughs> Okay, now the games begin to work out whether or not that will go inside my Defender. I would say I put it on top of my Defender, but I don't know where my winches are to secure it to the roof. So we've got to hope and pray this works. I'm a pretty optimistic man, but I don't think this is going to go to plan. Only one way to find out. Yeah, th there's just no way, surely. Ow. I love being optimistic, but then there's being realistic. Hold the door. Well, would you look at that baby? <laughs> I love how I'm just trying to put this in the back of the defender and I just look I just look at the window and I can see my baby flying. My boy! But hold on a gosh darn second. Wait, if I can get that on top of there, we might be in luck. Okay, I'm gonna try and precariously place my phone there before I smash it in the door frame, but whatever. Right, rip that off. Ooh. Over there, there's no, there's no way this is. Oh, is it just a bit too big? Oh my gosh, I think I'm in. I actually think I'm in. Wait. Oh my gosh, no way. Wait. There's no shot. Oh. 
No freaking way! <laughs> I am a genius. I actually managed to get it in the Defender. I'm very impressed. It might be a difficult drive. In the Defender? But it's in. Ever need a door transport in? I'm your guy. What an absolute win. Now I've had a revelation. If I give Alice that Christmas present, she'll know exactly what it is straight away. So, 200 IQ. I've collected all the empty boxes that I have in the house and I'm going to do the annoying thing of a box Within a box, within a box, within a box, within a box, all wrapped in duct tape to absolutely throw her off as to what I could have possibly got her. And then when she gets to the smallest box, inside it will be a letter saying, open your present in the kitchen. Of which, when she walks into the kitchen, there will be her door. So let's get on with it. Wow, that was way more, <laughs> that was way more tape than I was expecting. And this box within a box idea has just got even more perfect. The big reveal is on a sticky note, but I found a box that perfectly fits <laughs> the sticky note inside of it, to a degree. Nailed it. So we're gonna put the reveal into box one, then that goes into box two, then that goes in tape, then that goes in that, and that goes in tape. And for a plot twist, that goes in that, which is sealed with tape, but it still leaves a bit of a suspense as to what it is. But then that goes in that. Oh, that was, that was satisfying, that. Look at it, it's sealed perfectly. With tape, where this goes in that, and finally, that goes in that. Which needs sealing with some wrapping paper. <laughs> and several minutes later, built up a sweat my job here is done look at that a red herring and then some so Lydia do you think she'll be able to guess what it is good right <laughs> do you think she's gonna hate what me I'm gonna give her this which is a box within a box within a box within a box I feel like she's got in there. That, but no there is something in it I'll even say to her, it might feel like there's nothing in it, but there is. Just to throw her off, and you are right, I should put a log in it or something. Damn it! Oh, I didn't think about the weight of it. Well, there's no going back now. And I've finally received a text from Carl saying that they're home. So, as I just said to Lydia, I'll see you in a minute, but I think it might be a little bit longer than that, because this might take a while. Let's do this. Do you know what I haven't thought about? Um, fitting the box in the Defender. There's no way this is going to end up being the problem, is it? Oh, luckily not. Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh, I think my Defender was unlocked. There we go. Next stop. <laughs> <laughs> Alice's. All right, we've made it. And just as requested, the door is open. <laughs> just making sure you're in here. Where? Oh, she's there. Oh, hello. No, no, you keep doing you. I'm just making sure you're staying in here. Thank you. I just need a second to put it together. Perfection. Okay. Step one. The door is in. Step two. Merry Christmas. Oh, I love it. That's such a good touch. All right, let's get the big box. We're good to go. And I brought scissors out of the kitchen so she doesn't have to go back inside. Hello. Are you ready for a Christmas present? <laughs> Listen, I'm by myself because this was a lot to put together, right? Are you ready? <laughs> Alice, <laughs> Merry Christmas. I know it's been a while since I've done a tinfoil jobby and I've done it properly, so good luck, what? enjoy. I, when you watch back this vlog and understand what I've actually gone through for this, you'll understand. Do you like it? Yeah, I, re I reckon we should uh, get comfortable, to be fair. Uh, that, that, Alice, uh, all I'm going to say is Costco and 100 metres of tin file. You mean what I can see and <laughs> oh, what it is? Uh, no, 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 it's just very thick, isn't it? I actually don't think you need anything else. Ba 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 Yeah! Look. Have you found oh, a bit of a way in? Oh. Oh no, that's a that's a layer on top of a layer. I don't like to make things easy. <laughs> Listen, you've never experienced this before, but this used to be a tradition with your mother, okay? And I'm bringing it back. Come on, family, it's a family affair. Get in there, get in there. Oh, get in, get in, get in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Careful the way you move it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> who needs who needs to pay to go to a sensory <laughs> class when you can do this? Oh, oh. Oh, uh, uh, no, you just, got be, you just got to be careful going into the next one. Oh, what is it? Fucking! Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh. oh, what's inside the box, Alice? What's inside the box? It's another box! It's another box. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, huh. <laughs> Best present ever! Can we guess what it is yet? No. Okay, good. Oh. Oh. What's that? It's a box within a box! <laughs> Carl's hairline is slowly walking out the door right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for taking this off our hands, guys. Oh! Right, now be careful cutting through that one. Yeah. Oh. oh. Where's the bag? It's a bag. Within a box. Within a box. In a bag. Oh, what but what's inside the box? And what's inside the bag? Oh, Hello. <laughs> what could be inside the bag? Is that a hamster? Oh, it, it, if that was a hamster, <laughs> it's bloody dead. It's a box. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys are really lucky. I only had a small, limited what amount of boxes. Now, yeah, for clarification, none of these boxes are coming home with me in the slightest. <laughs> so, uh, have you had a nice Christmas? Mid midway interview? Have you had a nice Christmas? <laughs> have you enjoyed your monster trucks? Yeah. Do you like your monster trucks? I think you like your monster trucks. I know, yeah, out of everything you can buy them, a cardboard box and a flash of light wins. Oh! <laughs> uh -huh. a, few. a few moments later. Oh, Careful! <laughs> you love me as a brother, right? How much do you love me on a scale of 1 to 10? Yeah. Yay! What is it? It's a what is it? Right, no, wrong way around. Turn it the way around. No, turn that one the way around. Careful with it, yeah. Ooh. Okay, yep. Yeah. You're okay. Yeah, that's fine. Right, when you take that, when you take that tape off, be careful. Careful, careful. Yeah, yeah. No, you're good. All right, just make sure that doesn't come apart. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right, then take that out carefully. Could have made so much easier. Keep it tightly together. Make sure it doesn't open up. Right. Okay. That open it. What is it? Just, just, don't, just open it. Is this it? Or is it another box in here? If it's another box, I'm going to scream. <laughs> Congratulations, your brother is in the kitchen! Yeah, we're going in the kitchen! Yeah! <laughs> Mate, I'm so lightheaded, I'm gonna faint. <laughs> your brother's in the kitchen! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, child! Alright, are you ready? Come here. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait. Oh, you're gonna do that? Uh, keep it going. I'll keep the box out of the way. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, oh it's a pull. <laughs> I'm trying to push it. And it's a pull. pull in your balloon. Don't you look either. Just keep walking here. Close your eyes. Don't you look keep, either. Keep them closed. Is that an eagle on the Come in. In you come. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Open your eyes. It's a <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> what could it be? <laughs> this was so much effort. I know, yeah. This, this is why it took me all day. Careful it doesn't fall. Oh, uh, you, you'll definitely need scissors. Oh, fuck the heck. I don't know what the context is, but I think I know what it is. Wow! Don't drop it. I know. This took me so long to put together. I know. Oh my god, can you just take a minute to appreciate it? It's amazing. Have you brought this in your calendar? Yeah. I can't believe it fit. Look at how. How much actual <laughs> potato bracing? There's so much. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> she would totally want to reuse it. Can you guess what it is yet? <laughs> you want to open this side, it'll tell you what it is. <laughs> oh! It's a brand new front door! <laughs> So rather than get you nothing, I got you a brand new front door! What the heck? That, yeah? Yes! Oh my gosh! What the heck? That literally took me all day. Congratulations. You've got to get a piece of No, I know I could have done, but I wanted to do that better. Oh my gosh, it's a new door! So yeah, um... Bye now, see you later. Adios. <laughs> Look at it, I thought it was perfect. It's a new front door for your house. Yay, there you go. That's why I couldn't really get Dad to drop it off, so yeah, a bit confusing, but Merry Christmas! You need to be here for all this. I just thought I'd make your life hell. But no, honestly, if you need a spare door, you can keep that one. No, no, it's absolutely fine, mate. Hey, listen, I even took two doors off the hinges until I realised one was made of, like, solid wood, and that was just MDF, so I brought you this one instead. Oh, that's just one of the house next door. Spare one. It's a spare. Lovely present. You're welcome. Just, just let me know the measurements. Let me know who to talk to to install it. No! No, 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 no. If I would have just put a, that, that in here, it was obvious it was a door. And you'd been like, oh, door! No, it, isn't. it wasn't obvious to me. So, good, good plot twist. Yeah, that High amazing. five. Thank you. Nice. That's amazing. Sorry about all the boxes, Cal. <laughs> My bad. Can I admit to something? Yes. I wrapped it, and by the time I wrapped it, I forgot I should have wrote it's a new door <laughs> on it. Because when you just open a second-hand door, you're like, yeah, and I, huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been gifted a second-hand door. That was missing. And I, I, didn't, I didn't really think to write that on it, so... I know for next time. I'll you're loving it! <laughs> He said the best present of all. Like, yeah. Cardboard box, tin foil, new door. Right, little dude, let's see how many monster trucks Uncle Tom has bought you in total. Because uh, I'm pretty sure it's kind of a ridiculous amount. And I know for a fact, mate, I know for a fact that's not all of them. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Look how many I've bought him. Flipping eight, mate. It's safe to say I've got a bit of an addiction. It's not even Al, oh, it's me. I'm the one. There's more. No way. <laughs> Look at him. I'm pretty sure I bought him every single one. What a day. Just honestly, what an absolute day. If you guys enjoyed that, then do me a favor. Leave a like, right, click that subscribe button and ding on that bell. Because you never... There's no way. <laughs> you never know what's next. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Wow. How much do you love that? Oh, Look at him. He's like, I don't even know where to start. But my friend, I'm going to go now. Can I have a hug? Can I have a hug? Can I have a hug? <laughs> Kisses for Tom. Oh, his little face. I'm going to go now. One day he'll go, no, Tom, don't go. But until that point, I'm just going to see you. <laughs> Step over it. Don't, don't go chasing at me now. You didn't give me a hug a second ago. Don't come running to the front door. Thanks for the Which is going to get replaced. Yay! Wait, and, you no, no, no. You can keep it, Alice. Wow. It's a gift. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Screw this shit, I'm out. <laughs> no, I don't want it. Give me back. <laughs> He's attacking me with a door. Oh, yeah, who put them up? Mate, what? Yeah, you just got outed. But yeah, they look so magical. Do you reckon I should just go and drop it off at Jim's drive? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Just trying oh, to. Next time you go around to his house, he's installed. <laughs> <laughs> Just got a random spare door now. He so why are you crying? Were you crying because I was leaving? He wasn't. He was crying because Dad was leaving. <laughs> right. Oh. Can we get in? What's the matter? Right. I love you. Love you, brother. Thank you very much. So see you at Mum's tomorrow night. See you at Mum's tomorrow night. That's gonna be lovely. Half and past five. I will speak to you soon about a new door. Woo!
Oh, what a fun drive home this is going to be with a bloody door in my car! I somewhat feel like this has backfired. But either way, we are home at last. What a day. And um, I'm going to double up and say this. My left foot, where I dropped the tinfoil on me, is definitely broken. Because, wow, is that hurting. <laughs> just look at my weight. Look at the state of my Defender with that door just chilling inside it. What a day. And it gets even better because when I come home to my house... Oh... There is a Christmas dinner awaiting a microwave ping. And oh boy, you better know I'm excited because your boy is starving. So Lydia's mother, thank you. Well, I have been relieved from my microwaving duties as Lydia is doing it properly and putting it in the air fryer. That way I get crispy potatoes and I also get to hold the baby. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. Don't be jealous that I smell like other babies. I've been and seen your cousin. And what a woman she is. Look at that. She's prepared my dinner next to my remaining 25 metres of foil. Definitely went overboard, but hey, at least I made a forever lasting memory. Isn't that right? And something I'm never going to forget about is Lydia's mum's Christmas dinners. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I can't, I, I, I can't believe I get one on Christmas Day and then I get a leftovers meal. Oh. Pigs in blankets for the win. No, <laughs> me and my boy, and my girl. We're all just sat here, you at, mate? Watching a movie, and he's reading the newspaper. <laughs> Look at him. What a guy. And we're watching Leave the World Behind. I'm just going to have to pause the film I'm watching right now because Alfie is actually playing with his Playmobil. What on earth? Oh my gosh. Oh. Well done, little dude. He's, pro he's properly boy. grabbing and holding it. <laughs> My boy! Well done, little guy. Well done, son. Well done, son. Well done. I'm so proud of you. Are you going to get it again? What's that? What's that? <gasps> Lydia! Just got it again. What? Yes! I know this is gonna sound so weird, like I'm like, he's developing, like every day he's developing, but you don't notice wow, the little thing, the little things that he's doing. But this is huge! He's con he's grabbing things! Like he grabs us normally. Yeah, yeah, he can grab us, like, you, you know, he can get to grab your finger or something like that, but like, the fact that he's reaching out to grab an actual item he's looking for, I can't believe it! Oh, daddy's so proud of you! Well done, bud! Yeah! Big hands! <laughs> oh my goodness me, I'm saying this right now. What a film. Really, really enjoyed that. Honestly, to the point where I would give that film a 9 out of 10. The the the, the shots that were filmed in that in that film, like the way they did it was just I, are you taking the mic out of me? No. Did you hear what she just did then? Go on. Do it again, big lips. Go on. Smack them together. Don't like your face, Mark. But uh, uh, but like I was saying, really good film. I thought the trailer for it, oh, wasn't very good. I thought the trailer like, advertised it as just like, meh. I do feel like it spoiled a lot of the film though, which I thought was a bit unnecessary, but really enjoyed it. Really recommend it. Nine out of 10. And I'm hoping that they do a sequel. Oh, but hey, listen, we've stayed up late watching a movie to the point where it is <gasps> nearly 20 to one in the morning and you need to go to bed. One sleep later. There we go. That's it. That's our Christmas one hour vlog put together. Hope you enjoyed it. We absolutely loved it. This guy, this guy's at the time of his life. Just look at him. Look at all those fat rolls under his chin, just like his daddy. But it's been good, hasn't it? It's been the best. Honestly, I didn't think Christmas could get any better and then you came along. So thank you very much and thank you. And before I go, there's one more person I need to thank and that's you. Honestly, thank you so much for wasting your time watching my time. I know I say it again and again and again, but you don't understand how much I appreciate being able to spend time with my family, my friends, do stupid shenanigans stuff like zip lines into swimming pools, or any of this stuff, like laying around in my house and just lounging about talking rubbish. The fact that you guys tune into it is just amazing. And I'm so forever grateful. I will never stop saying thank you. So truly, I appreciate you. And I will be saying this all now because this is potentially the last vlog I'll be posted in 2024. Because as of leading up to 
so this vlog going up in the new year uh, it will be the weekend and I, I I'm not supposed to film my weekends because I'm a weekday vlogger however I will probably film the New Year's Eve shenanigans as to what we're doing this year I'm not fully sure because there's been a storm blowing and all the fireworks I've got downstairs might not be able to get set off because of this tree nearly falling down roll the clip the best in bloody trees nearly coming down oh my god Christmas 2024 was nearly cancelled but determining on the weather and what it's saying is determining on what the vlog will actually be it probably might be a calm one with the friends and family just chilling but if weather dependent we're able to we will have a beautiful firework display in the sky that'll be able to share with your faces but honestly guys thank you so much for watching these videos i really do appreciate you and i'm so excited to see what 2024 has to offer I've already <laughs> anxiously sent some messages about the super secret project and if it ends up going ahead, which it is like 90% complete, 2024 is about to be the wildest year for the life of Tom Channel. So if you've enjoyed the journey so far, thank you for joining me on it and I can't wait to see what is next. So until then, much love to your faces and as always, a sadios.